Hello everyone, this is uh, Stefan speaking. During the last weeks I have been busy working on several smaller and bigger software projects um, that we will be using in our upcoming ARM64 specific iOS kernel training courses in uh, Kensuk West and also in Frankfurt in April. While the bigger projects um, are still work in progress and will be revealed at a later point in time, today I want to show you a smaller byproduct of this work. And this uh, small byproduct is called the ARC64 helper plugin. And that is a very small and helpful plugin for everybody who is into. ARM64 uh, and it's just starting out and it's also very helpful for everybody who uses IDA for disassembling um, low-level ARM64 code especially stuff that is running in exception level 1 and above um, because uh, when it comes to this IDA has a number of shortcomings in the disassembly of uh, instructions that are specific for these uh, exception levels. In order to show you uh, what I mean by that, let's go to one important function of the uh, iOS kernel that's called uh, current thread. This function is called inside the kernel whenever uh, a pointer to the current kernel thread is required. And um, uh, on, the, on the code level, you will see that uh, this is implemented by just reading. MRS is reading from a system register. So just a specific system register which IDA uh, decodes as this here. Um, this system register is read uh, to get the current kernel thread. This is obviously very complicated and uh, if you are familiar with uh, OS level ARM 32-bit code, you will remember this um, notation from um, the uh, coprocessors. However, those coprocessors are no longer existent in uh, ARM 64 bit, and actually, the documentation of, of the ARM version 8 standard uh, says that this kind of notation is not to be used uh, for system regis registers. Instead, the full name of the system registers should be used instead. However, either, as you can see, is still using uh, the actual uh, binary encoding. This is uh, very uh, confusing, especially if you have to deal with a lot of low-level code, because you have to, uh, to learn what these uh, values mean, and you have to look it up into, in the documentation all the time. And you will see here is a lot of these accesses to these registers and so on. So um, MRS is one of the opcodes that is strangely disassembled. Oh, by the way, if you compare this to uh, Hopper or uh, Capstone, uh, the two later are actually uh, disassembling this correctly with the uh, system register name. Only either is uh, the top disassembler that does not support this correctly. So MRS is one of the affected uh, opcodes. Then there are two different MSR opcodes. This one here is uh, writing to the process state field. Uh, you see there is two numbers and you have no idea what they mean usually. Then you have a different MSR opcode that writes to a system register. Again, you have no idea what these combinations mean, except you, uh, you look it up in the documentation. And furthermore, there are some opcodes that are called sys, uh, 
the system instruction that uh, again has this kind of notation here but um, this is again the wrong notation and if you look it up in your documentation you will see that depending on what uh, values you find here uh, the system instruction has uh, different meanings so there are different names for the system instruction depending on this here and then not only the name is, is wrong here but also again this here should be decoded as a name of a system register but either again does not correctly disassemble this so this is very problematic if you have to look at this low-level code because uh, you cannot just remember all these uh, numbers so that's why I created um, this little helper plugin and uh, you can activate the helper plugin by using a button combination but uh, because this is IDA 6.7 I'm using one of the new features that allows me to uh, override the content of the pop-ups in the disassembly view uh, with my own options uh, this is possible in iOS 6 uh, in, in IDA 6.7 and above so I can now get the pop-up here and you will see why these are all the normal options uh, the last two here are introduced by the plugin so the very last one we will look at later but uh, this one here is called decode arc 64 system registers so if you click that uh, you will see that now the disassembly no longer has the strange notation now the disassembly actually contains the name of the register so uh, here this is the process state field that is written to um, here again is the register that is read here the registers are written to uh, some registers are read are read and down here we had our system instructions so you see that um, the system register is now decoded as uh, this one here and because this is the uh, register accessed uh, the system instruction is no longer just a normal system instruction it's a TLBI instruction so this is already very helpful and if you scroll down you will see that there is a number of accesses here um, here we are accessing um, registers that are system registers that are for page table accessors. So uh, let's uh, scroll up again. So normally your problem is that when you see these registers, you have no idea what they actually mean. Well, for this one here, after a while, you will realize that it's a kernel thread. But for the others, it's usually that you have no idea what they mean. So that's where the second uh, um, pop-up option comes into play. So if you, if you click it and then uh, open up the uh, pop-up menu, it will recognize that this is something it knows about. And it will now um, allow you to uh, call this um, help function here. And what happens in the background is that uh, a configurable shell script is executed with two parameters. The first parameter is the configurable PDF name and the second parameter is a plucking hard-coded page number. So the idea here is that the plugin knows that for a specific PDF uh, the register is defined on a specific page so you just have to provide a shell script that will open your favorite uh, PDF viewer on a specific page I implemented that for Google Chrome you can do the same with Adobe Acrobat or something else only there's uh, OSX specific preview application is unable to open a PDF file on a specific page so that's why I'm using Google Chrome here so let's click it uh, what happens now in the background is that Chrome opens 
and you can see that um, the uh, page was opened and the tpidr underscore el1 register is uh, explained here this is exactly the register we have seen in the either output so we can see that this is a thread id so we can repeat the same for other registers like the floating point control register here again we just click the help and in the background now chrome was sent to a different page so we just go to chrome and we see oh this is the right register and we can see uh, the uh, the meaning of this of the bits in this register but uh, this is all uh, very nice however the people coming to our training are often well, fluent maybe in the ARM 32-bit uh, um, assembly language, but they have no idea about the new um, ARM 64 specific uh, opcodes. So uh, when we just scroll into this code here, you will see that uh, there are some instructions that you don't know from ARM 64, like C-Ink, LDP, and red. So um, because we wanted to help the beginners in our course, we now have also implemented the feature that when you right click here, uh, again, you can ask for the help and Chrome will now go to the C-Ink instruction. And here you can see uh, what the instruction is supposed to do. You see the encoding you see uh, in this case that this uh, is uh, related to the CS ink instruction. So we just click here and then we can see uh, the pseudo code um, that is used to execute this instruction. We can repeat the same for other instructions like LDP, which is also new from um, ARC64. So uh, we can see that LDP means load a pair of registers from the stack or from another base register. So uh, you can see that here again. And uh, down here we have the pseudo code again uh, that implements this instruction. And last but not least, we have the same here for the red instruction. You can do the same thing again. And this uh, gives you the definition of the red instruction. This is all very nice and handy for beginners of ARM64 assembly. And um, should help everybody who uses this plugin a lot. So you will now ask if you can get this uh, plugin. So for now, this plugin is just uh, in, in development and uh, will be used in our training courses in, in Kensac West and in Frankfurt. And uh, depending uh, how it's received by the trainees, we will then later uh, make it available to the general public. So that's it for now. Uh, I will soon be talking about other plugins, for example, about our uh, baby arm library that um, implements an emulator, well, a late, lightweight emulator for um, reverse engineering purposes um, that emulates a let's call it a subset of the ARM64 uh, architecture. And uh, the IDA debugger plugin that uses this, uh, this, this emulator plugin, we will discuss, discuss this in a, in a later video. Um, so uh, make sure that you uh, subscribe to this channel so that you see this uh, video at a later point of time. Um, you can also follow me on, on Twitter to uh, when I announce this on Twitter. 
And if you're interested in the training courses, you can uh, sign up for these courses uh, in Kansas West or in, in Germany and Frankfurt by going to our website. So enjoy.